hello students welcome you to this video in this video we are going to start differential calculus in which limits and continuity what a very simple thing at the same time it's important so you must know what is limit and what's continuity in the 12th standard also we are going to study limit but that in a different way okay just i'm going to explain what it is then few examples some i'm going to teach you so first we see the concepts okay so limits and continuity so you know the value zero by a number zero by a number what is zero by a number it is zero right zero by any number it is what zero but a number by zero a number by zero a non zero number by zero it is what not defined right infinity but what is zero by zero so this zero by zero we say it is indeterminate ya na zero by a number it is what zero we can accept that value ya number by zero it is infinity we can accept that too but zero by zero infinity by infinity so zero in the infinity all these are indeterminate form so mainly this zero by zero that is an indeterminate one okay so now just i'm going to explain the limits using some examples look at the first example f of x equal to x minus 3 by x minus 3 you say it's very simple right 5 by 5 you cancel and you say it is what 1 so if i say x minus 3 by x minus 3 you say we cancel the answer is what 1 but provided x is not equal to 3 Suppose x is equal to three. What happens if x is three? Then you are getting three minus three. It is what zero by zero. It is indeterminate. You can't cancel zero zero, right? You can't do that. So in all other values other than three, right? So in all other cases except three, f of x value is what one, right? So f of x equal to one in all the cases except. 3 right so f of x equal to 1 x is where x is not equal to 3 so we are very much interested to see when x is equal to 3 what happens so as x is approaching 3 so we see a graph when x is equal to 3 you know f of x is 0 by 0 it is indeterminate right in all other cases uh it is what one when even when x is 0 when x is 0 uh 0 minus 3 minus 3 by minus 3 it is one when x is 3 it is one when x is 1 it is one two but when x is 3 uh, okay we are not getting a value there right so that's why i put give up some blank there okay so we see what happens as x is approaching 3 as x is approaching 3 it can approach 3 in this direction or it can approach 3 in this direction okay so 2 then 2.5 2.9 2.9999 nine, right so the value will be approaching 1 same way you give 4 or 3.5 3.1 3.01 3.0001 3.0001 yeah fix fix value will be approaching what one only but not that exactly 3 when it is 3 so it is indeterminate right so as x tends to 3 f of x tends to 1 tends to only not actually equal to 1 it is tending to 1 right so that we write like this limit in short we write like this l i m limit x tends to 3 it is not exactly 3 tending to 3 in two direction either it moves towards 3 through the left side that is that we call it as left limit or it moves through the right side so that is called right limit okay so that is 3 means slightly more than 3 3.001 something like that so left limit please means it is approaching 3 through left side that is slightly less than 3 so slightly less than 3 means 2.9999 something like that okay so in that case uh, f of x value will be tending to 1 you see another example i'll show the calculation also so see here f of x equal to 2x you know it's a line right f of x equal to 2x and just i'm telling uh, other than x is not equal to of course when x is equal to it defined right where suppose when x is equal to your answer is 2 into 2 it is 4 but i am defining a function f of x equal to 2x when x not equal to 2 and when x is equal to 2 i am defining the value as what 1 i am defining the value as what 1 so now listen here 
so what is f of 2 so you know at 2 there is some discontinuity right so here there is some change so when x is equal to 2 what is f of x for all the cases f of x use this one other than what 2 so if i want f of 1 2 into 1 it is 2 if i want f of 3 2 into 3 right 6 but f of 2 means i cannot use this i have to use this when x is equal to 2 f of x value is what 1 so f of 2 f of 2 is equal to what 1 they said x is not equal to 2 so we cannot use this function right so let us see as x approaches 2 x approaches 2 means it may approach through this direction here it is 1, then 1 1.5, 1 1.9 is there, right? 1.9, 1.99, right? Very, very close to 2, approaching 2. So let us see what happens, the value, right? So we have to, when it is approaching 2, you have to use this fx. Approaching 2 means it is not equal to 2, right? It is not equal to 2, so you can use this only. Even if it is 2.0001, it is not 2. So we can use the function 2x f of x equal to 2x, right? So when it is exactly 2, we cannot use the function 2x, you have to use the value 1, right? Okay, now listen, so f of 2 is 1, but as x tends to 2, as x tends to 2, so we see the left limit first, tending to 2. Suppose I am giving, say, 1.9, I am taking x is equal to x value and fx value, so here f of x is 2x, right? So only thing for x, I cannot give 2. Any other value I can give, tending to 2. So 2 is here, approaching 2 through left side. So I'm starting with 1.9, 1.9. See, x I'm giving 1.9. f of x means 2 into 1.9. It is 3.8. Very close to 4, right? Very close to 4. But I give 1.99. Very close to what? 2, right? Very close to 2. Tending, x is tending to 2. <coughs> x is tending to 2. That is why I am giving <coughs> the value which is very close to 2. 1.99. f of x value, 2 into 1.99. You get 3.98. Very close to 4 now, right? It is very close to 4. Earlier we got 3.8. Now 3.98. Suppose I give C 1.8. 9999 so you can multiply 1.9999 into 2 so you will be getting 3.998 it is very very close to what 4 if i give again 1.9999 your answer will be 3.9999 something very very close to 4 so as x is tending to 2 f of x is tending to what 4 so the here x is approaching 2 through left side so that we call it as left limit. So x value, what you are giving, not 2, slightly less than 2. That you can write 2 minus slightly less than 2. That's the meaning, okay? Now let us see. Let us approach through the right side now. So right side means, okay, so from this side. So I'm starting with, uh, say, 2.1. 2.1. If I give 2.1, f of x is 2x. So 2 into 2.1, your answer is 4.2. It is very close to 4, right? 4.2. If I give 2.01, f of x is 2x. So 2 into 2.01, you will get 4.02. Earlier 4.2, right? But now it is 4.02. Little more closer to 4. If I give 2.001, 2 f x is 2 into x, right? So two, you are getting 4.002. Very, very close to 4. If I approach x value again towards 2, f of x will be very, very, very close to 4. Hope you understood. Okay, in both the cases, whether approach through left side or approach through right side, f of x value tending to what? 4. Here 3.999, something like that, very close to 4. Slightly less than 4 you are getting. Here slightly more than 2. Right? Okay, x value you are giving 2 plus something, right? 2 plus. That means 2.00001, slightly more than 2. So that is called right limit. 2 minus slightly less than 2, that is left limit, okay? So this only we can write limit x tends to 2, f of x. x is tending to 2 through the left side or right side. Both the values must be same. And here it is approaching what? 4. So this is all about what? Uh, limits, okay?
Suppose I give another very simple example, another one. See, f of x is equal to 1 by x. f of x is equal to 1 by x. Suppose x and fx. I am giving x as, say, x as, say, 1. x I am giving 1. What is then f of x? f of x is 1 by 1, it is 1. Suppose I am giving 2. 1 by 2, 0 0.5, reduce, right? If I give 4, 1 by 4, 0 0.25. If I give 10, 1 by 10, f of x is 1 by x, right? 1 by 10, 0 0.1. If I give 100, 1 by 100, 0 0.01. If I give 1000, 0 0.001, right? If I give, say, 6 zeros, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 zeros. Then 0 point, how many digits? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1. 0, 1, right? 5 zeros then. Okay. So it goes on like this. So as x is increasing, as you are increasing x value, f of x value decreasing, 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 it is very, very close to what? 0, right? Very close to 0. So x value are increasing. So how can you write it as a limit? Limit x tends to infinity. You started with 1, 2, 4, 10, then 1000, 10,000, 1 lakh, something like that, right? As x value approaching to infinity, so y value decreasing, 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 it is very, very, very close to a zero. So limit x tends to zero f of x here, f of x value 1 by x, the answer is what? Zero. Okay, so 1 by infinity, the answer is what? Zero. So this is what the concept of what limit, okay? Now let us see continuity. So for limit, so when can you say the limit exists? You find left limit. Also, you find right limit. Both must be same, right? So, limit x tends to a, a plus f of x, approaching through right side. Then you find limit x tends to a minus f of x. You find the left limit. Both must be same. Then you can say the limit exists and what value you are getting and that is the value of the limit. Okay, And that you can write limit x tends to a f of x, limit x tends to f of x equal to, suppose if you are getting the answer as L and the limit is equal to what? L. Okay, now listen, continuity, just I'll give an example. I'll give a diagram, please listen. Suppose if I have a curve like this, then you know, yes, it is continuous, right? It's a very simple thing, it is continuous. But if I have, suppose I have a curve like this, Okay, so if I have a curve like this, uh, it is not defined at one particular place. And for that, they are giving some other value. Okay, for that, they are giving some other value. Okay, so here and all, we have continuous. But here, there is some discontinuity, right? And after that, it is continuous only. But only at that particular place, instead of this, they are giving some other value. Okay, so there is some discontinuity. And this, condi this continuity can be removed. What do you do? No? When x is equal to a, you are getting this value, right? But instead of this value, if, it, if I assign this value, then it will be what? Continuous only. Okay. Actually, it is not continuous, uh, but this type of discontinuity can be removed by assigning a suitable value at x is equal to a. Instead of this, suppose it is 1, and suppose it is, say, 4. Then instead of 1, f of a equal to 1. That is a discontinuity. Instead of f of a equal to 1, if we assign f of a equal to 4, then yes, the function is what? Continuity. Continuous only. So this type of continuity, we call it as removable discontinuity. Please look another one. But if I have a curve like this, At a particular point A, it is not defined, okay? Then after that, at A, this is the value, okay? This is the value, then the curve is like this. So there is a huge jump, right? So this is not continuous. Or you can say it is what? Discontinuous. At X is equal to A, you cannot make it as continuous by assigning some value. That particular point, if you assign, okay, only that. But what about the other points and all? Here, not like that. Only that one point, okay. So that continuity can be, discontinuity can be removed. 
okay but here you cannot do that there is a huge jump so you cannot uh, you cannot make it as what continuous okay so this is some definition some basic things you have to understand what is limit of a function and what is continuous what is discontinuous okay the higher classes you will study everything in detail okay so now before doing sums just i want to uh, recall one concept modulus x uh, absolute value already you studied in some topics right modulus x can have two values modulus x is x when x is positive it is minus x when x is negative okay modulus x is x itself when x is positive and modulus x is minus x when x is what negative so then what is modulus x minus 3 modulus x minus 3 is x minus 3 itself when x minus 3 is positive x minus 3 positive means x is greater than minus 3 take it to the right side plus 3 okay 0 also can be included and it is equal to minus of x minus 3 when that x minus 3 is negative so that is x is less than take minus 3 to the right side it is what plus 3 okay so that's that's about uh, modulus because here we have a sum of that type also okay and the first the exercise if i take 9.1 first few questions and all using calculator just you substitute and you check how the values are approaching right and then some graphs and all given for the examination point of view they're not that much important so just last few questions okay uh, that is important especially the last question question number 23 is one of the very important question okay listen write a brief description of the meaning of the notation limit the extends to 8 f of x is equal to 25 what is the meaning of this limit of this function is 25 as x is approaching 8 f of x is approaching 25 i said so limit exists in that case you know the left limit and right limit both must be equal right so what you can say here the left limit that is limit x tends to 8 minus that is approaching through left side you are giving a value very very close to 8 but slightly less than 8 7.999 something like that okay f of x here the answer is what 25 and the right limit also 25 how can you denote it limit x tends to 8 plus f of x is also 25 okay in short f of 8 minus is equal to 25 f of 8 plus is also 25 this is another symbol of denoting it okay now question number 20 if f of 2 is 4 f of 2 is 4 okay that is when exactly x is 2 the value is 4 can you conclude anything about the limit of f of x as x approaches to limit x tends to 2 f of x can you say anything the value of this using this no it is nowhere later right suppose if i say uh, limit exists then the, then you say the left limit and right limit are equal but f of 2 can be anything right so earlier we saw now suppose when it is 2 when you draw the graph there may be a discontinuity right f of 2 may be some other number but when i take the limit both values are what same as this number okay but here can you conclude anything about your answer is what no okay so f of 2 we know from that you cannot say anything about the limit same way if you know the limit value you can't say anything about f of 2 okay only thing if the limit value is 4 means you can say left limit is 4 right limit is 4 okay now see the next question just reverse uh, in reverse of that question if the limit of f of x limit f of x as x approaches 2 equal to 4 what is your conclusion here your conclusion is the left limit is 4 right limit is 4 but here they didn't ask that can you conclude anything about f of 2 f of 2 need not be 4 right uh, it can be anything any other number right any number it can be it can be even 2 also right so even 4 also but you can't say exactly what it is so can you conclude anything about f of 2 your answer is no explain the reasoning limit extends to 2 f of x equal to 4 only implies implies the left limit that is limit x tends to 2 minus f of x is 4 and limit 
x tends to 2 plus the right limit is also 4, but it it does not give. any information about what f of 2, right? Only thing you can say right limit, left limit, okay? So, limit x tends to 2, f of x equal to some value, but it won't give f of 2 value. Same way, f of 2 equal to some value, it won't give anything about the limit, okay? Now, let's move on to question number 22. So, limit, evaluate, evaluate, Limit x tends to 3. Limit x tends to 3. x square minus 9 by x minus 3. So here what you do know? Uh, if it exists by finding the left limit and right limit. Left limit, you can write like this also, f of 3 minus. Or limit x tends to 3 minus. Okay. So first time finding left limit limit x tends to 3 minus x square minus 9 by x minus 3. Actually, we are substituting 3. If I give 3, 3 square 9 minus 9, 0, 3 minus 3, 0. 0 by 0, you can't do that. So, what you do here? You factorize it. Limit x tends to 3 minus. Numerator a square minus b square. 9 can be written as 3 square, right? So, you can write it as x plus 3 into x minus 3 divided by x minus 3. That x minus 3 cancel. Now apply the limit now. You substitute 3, 3 plus 3. Once you apply the limit, don't write that L, I, M and all because we apply the limit, right? X tending to 3 minus. So for x you put 3, 3 plus 3, your answer is what? 6. So this is the value of left limit. Now we find the left limit, or sorry, right limit. So this is f of 3 minus. Now we find f of 3 plus that is the right limit. So, limit x tends to 3 plus f of x. That is x square minus 9 by x minus 3. Like previous one, limit x tends to 3 plus. Factorize x plus 3 into x minus 3 divided by x minus 3. x minus 3 cancel. For x you give 3, 3 plus 3, your answer is 6, right? So, you are getting f of 3 minus is equal to f of 3 plus equal to 6. Both answers are same. Right limit and left limit both are equal. So you can say the limit of this function, limit x tends to 3. Therefore, limit x tends to 3, x square minus 9 by x minus 3 exist and which is equal to what or 6 you are getting, right? Limit x tends to 3, x square minus 9 by x minus 3 is equal to 6. Now let's move on to the next question. Here we have modulus, it's very careful. Verify the existence of limit x tends to 1. Limit x tends to 1, f of x. Okay, please listen where f of x is equal to modulus of x minus 1, modulus x minus 1. So, you know, for modulus x minus 1, there are two values. Modulus x minus 1 is x minus 1 itself, if x minus 1 is positive, right? First, I'll write that. Modulus x minus 1 is x minus 1 itself when it is positive, x minus 1 is positive. And it is minus of x minus 1 if x minus 1 is negative x minus 1 greater than or equal to 0 means x is greater than or equal to 1. Here x is greater than what? x is less than 1, right? Here x is less than 1. Okay, please listen. But equal to, you cannot take for, for equal to the value what they given. They given the value as what? 0. Okay. So we see greater and less. So we find left limit limit x tends to 0 minus f of x. Less than limit x tends to 1 minus, right? Not 0 minus, it is 1 minus. 1 minus means slightly less than 1. So, slightly less than 1. x is less than 1. When x is less than 1, what is f of x? What is modulus x minus 1? It is minus of x minus 1, right? So, this is equal to limit x tends to 
1 minus f of x. f of x denominator is x minus 1. Denominator is x minus 1. Numerator is modulus x minus 1. You know, modulus x minus 1 means it has two values, right? Modulus x minus 1 has two values. So which value you have to use here? Depends on x value. x tending to 1 minus. 1 minus means slightly less than 1. So slightly less than 1 means you have to use this. x is less than 1. So which what is modulus x value? Modulus x minus 1 value. Minus of x minus 1, right? So numerator you write minus of x minus 1. x minus 1 cancel. Your answer is minus 1. Now we find the right limit, okay? Now we find right limit. That is you find limit x tends to 1 plus f of x. That is limit x tends to 1 plus for f of x. So this is our f of x. Denominator is x minus 1. Numerator is modulus of x minus 1. Here x is x tending to 1 plus. 1 plus means slightly more than 1. Right? When x is more than 1, we have to use this x minus 1. So x minus 1, x minus 1 cancel, your answer is what? 1. Your answer is 1. Are they same? No. The first one value is minus 1 and here the answer is plus 1. Both are different. So what is your conclusion? The limit does not exist. Right? Limit exists means the right limit and left limit both must be same. But here they are different. So you say the limit does not exist. So here f of 1 minus is not equal to f of 1 plus. Therefore, limit x tends to 1 f of x does not exist. Okay, so hope you understood this one. Practice the example sums. We'll continue in the next video.